Hello, this is Teresa. I'm back with another video tutorial for Dare to be Artsy. I've created this tall number 10 standard size card with the Seize the Day collection from Dare to be Artsy, including papers, stamps, and even coordinating dies. So I will be sharing the sizes of each piece of paper. Right now I'm showing what the card base size is, and this is a standard size. It's a number 10. Now these are the two pattern papers from which um, you can fussy cut or die cut all the images out. So that's what I've done with the manatees and the octopus is cut them out of each uh, piece of paper that has those images on it. In that way, if you don't feel like coloring, you don't have to color because this is such an easy thing to do when everything coordinates together. So now I'm you know, putting down the first piece of pattern paper that I will use as a mat behind the dark blue pattern paper. And that way I'll have a nice base to start from. And once this is done, I'm going to take all of the die cut images that are off to my right side and I'll start putting them down on top of the blue paper. I'm not going to glue them yet. I'm just trying to get an idea of where I'm going to place them in my design on the card. And off camera, I created a sentiment strip using plaid paper and some white on top of that plaid. So you can see the dimensions are listed at the top of the video screen. And I stamped uh, the the sentiment with pomegranate ink by Dare to be Artsy, which coordinated really well. I'm working on the inside of the card now, and I'm going to be stamping the octopus image on the right hand side, and then I will stamp another sentiment below that on the inside of the card. Now, what you'll see towards the end of the video is I end up uh, putting another die cut image right on top of this one because I thought about coloring it at first and then I decided just in keeping with the front of the card that it probably made more sense to put another uh, die cut octopus on in the place of where I stamped it so by the time I get that done it covers it up. Another thing that I wanted to do is add a little more color around it so I took the solid it's a solid heart image from the same stamp set and I'm again I'm using the pomegranate ink from Dare to be Artsy and I'm putting some hearts kind of surrounding that octopus in a little bit below the sentiment so I'm just randomly choosing some places to stamp this and when I stamp a um, up towards the top there's at a point where somehow I accidentally got some ink like I didn't stamp that one particularly well so I went back in trying to stamp over it sorry my head got in the way and somehow I got a dot on the inside of the card I'm not sure how I managed that but it's right below that heart up near the top I end up fixing it uh, by stamping over you know stamping another heart image close by so in the end you could tell never tell that I made that little boo-boo and now I'm putting everything back in the general position that I planned in the beginning I've added some foam tape behind my sentiment for the outside of the card and I'm going to place it pretty much about at the bottom third of that panel and then when I glue on the little um, manatee right there, the head is going to kind of come over the top of the banner piece a little bit. And I positioned uh, the dimensionals behind it so that um, the head would be on top, resting on top of the sentiment, which is already raised up and have some support underneath. So really all that's left at this point is doing the same thing with the remaining three at the top and the cards complete. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. 
please leave, consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up if you did like it. Until next time, I dare you to get artsy.